once the gold standard of American engineering. Boeing ruled the skies. They built the 747, the queen of the skies. They helped NASA touch the stars. They were untouchable, an empire of wings. But behind the clouds, a storm was forming. In 1916, a timber entrepreneur named William Boeing built his first plane in a Seattle boathouse. Over the next 80 years, his company would revolutionize aviation, crafting legends like the 707, the 747, and the Space Shuttle. Boeing wasn't just a company. It was America's skybound ambition. But in 1997, everything changed. Boeing merged with struggling rival McDonnell Douglas. On paper, Boeing was the buyer. But insiders knew it was McDonnell who took over in spirit. Their Wall Street-focused culture infected Boeing. Profits came first, engineering second, budgets were slashed, corners were cut, the cockpit lost control to the boardroom. Then came Airbus with the A320neo, efficient, modern, a market disruptor. Boeing panicked. Instead of designing a new jet, they tweaked the aging 737 and slapped on larger engines. But that change unbalanced the aircraft. To fix it, they installed a software patch, MCAS, the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System. But pilots weren't told. Some didn't even know it existed. There was no training. No simulator time. Just assumptions and silence. On October 29, 2018, Lion Air Flight 610 plunged into the Java Sea. Just five months later, Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 crashed minutes after takeoff. 346 people died. All because of decisions made in boardrooms, not cockpits. We're banking. Go right, go right. The plane is banking sharply to the left. It's only 325 feet from the ground. I can't hold it. American 191 Heavy, do you copy? He's not talking to me. Losing power from one engine should not be causing the plane to bank. Passengers have a frightening view of the ground below. What's going on? The pilots can't get the altitude they need, and they're banking further and further to the left. I'm losing it! Go right, go right, come on, come on! But they are not the only ones whose lives are in danger. Whistleblowers sounded alarms. Leaked emails told a horrifying truth. This airplane was designed by clowns, supervised by monkeys. A Boeing employee wrote, The FAA grounded the 737 MAX. Boeing lost over $20 billion. And its once sterling reputation? Destroyed. Boeing. Promise change, 
software fixes, new leadership, cultural reform. But the cracks didn't go away. In 2023, a door plug blew off midair on a MAX 9 flight. In 2024, the FAA banned Boeing from expanding production. Congress launched new investigations. Airlines canceled orders. Customers lost trust. The skies weren't so friendly anymore. Another tragic accident took place on June 12, 2025. An Air India passenger jet en route to London's Gatwick Airport tragically crashed shortly after taking off from Ahmedabad in Western India, claiming the lives of 260 people. It was nothing but a Boeing 787 Dreamliner aircraft. According to a preliminary investigation report released on July 12, 2025, the disaster occurred mere seconds after takeoff when the aircraft's fuel control switches unexpectedly moved to the cutoff position. This action abruptly cut off the fuel supply to the engines, resulting in complete power failure. Boeing's downfall wasn't caused by a single crash, but by a culture shift. A slow, deadly drift away from engineering pride to profit obsession. They stopped listening to engineers. They stopped asking hard questions. And passengers paid the price. This is more than Boeing's story. It's a warning for every business that forgets its roots. According to Warren Buffett, it takes decades to build a reputation and seconds to lose it. Boeing once stood for precision, progress, and pride. Today, it's a cautionary tale of what happens when you chase margins over mission. The skies may forgive, but trust, that's a different flight path. Boeing became a cautionary tale. Great companies aren't built by chasing shortcuts. They're built by thinking long-term, by putting product and people first. Because trust isn't built with slogans, it's built with safety. And once it's lost, it's the hardest thing to win back.